Welcome to Dude RV. Thank you for stopping by. Well, that pretty well wraps it up for Sea Rim State Park. So we're gonna go pay a visit to Ratcliffe Park, Ratcliffe Lake. Davy Crockett National Forest. Good morning from Ratcliffe Lake, Davy Crockett National Forest. Well, it's not raining. Not too much sunlight, but it's not raining. So it's not the perfect setting, you know, lighting for giving you the tour, but we're gonna do it anyway. We are, we're actually, I'll give you this, this is a host site, as I, I mentioned yesterday when it was raining. Well, here we are, Ratcliffe Park. <laughs> so it's not available. And uh, most of the other sites are probably in better condition than this one. So like that one over there, he's, he's very flat, very level. But this is site number 23. You have this one over here, just to give you an example. The one we're in actually has sewer connection. These sites are indicative of what's, what's in this loop. These are the only RV connection sites in the park. So 21 and 22. All right, it's still still kind of chilly, so we're gonna hop in the truck and we're gonna go see some stuff. Ratcliffe Lake, Davy Crockett National Forest. All right, so the Ratcliffe Lake itself was originally built by a log a lumber company as a log pond. I presume that meant that they were floating logs, but it went out of business in 1920. In the 1930s, the Civilian Conservation Corps came in and built the park on this, this lake. Uh, there's actually, there are actually ruins of the log mill still on the other side of the lake. The only way to get over there is to hike because they've closed off the road. And I don't know that I can get a little red over there. But anyway, there's some stuff on this side of the lake we can check out. So stay tuned, more to come. Ratcliffe Lake actually currently has alligators active according to that sign but i think as chilly as it is right now i'm not ha i don't have anything to worry about all right ratcliffe lake is not real large but there is a boat ramp of course according to the signs there's no gas motors so trolling motors or paddles I think it would be a great kayak lake. 
fishing this lake from the bank is, is going to be a bit challenging. Here's the fishing regulations. Bass, 14 inches, 5 per day. Catfish, 12 inches, 5 per day. Sunfish, you can catch all you want. <laughs> catch them and keep them. But as I was saying, fishing from the bank is going to be a bit of a challenge because of the reeds. There's only a, a, a few, a handful of places where you can get a line in the water without worrying about the reeds. So a kayak would be ideal or a little inflatable like I have. Of course, we're not gonna be here long enough for me to deploy the boat. Let's go see some more stuff. Ratcliffe Lake Recreation Area was constructed by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the 1930s. And here we have one of those perfect examples of their construction techniques from that era, 1930s, here in the bathhouse. Now, unlike the Texas State Parks that were constructed by the CCC, we don't seem to have a dance pavilion. So on a hot summer day, you can come down here and take a dip in the water. Just remember, alligators are present <laughs> in the lake. Might be a good thing to keep your eyes open. Such a beautiful little park. No animals on the beach except seeing eye dogs. Places to sit on the seawall here. Rest your tired swimming butt. Now this is cool. We actually have a handicap accessible ramp over here. In case you're wondering about a Little Red and why I'm not riding Little Red. <laughs> It's chilly this morning. I'll be doing the, the, the FPV tour here shortly, but it's a bit chilly. That's a, one of the very few ADA accessible ramps I've seen for any swim area. I guess this used to be a boat rental or something such a beautiful place two fishing docks so I guess if you got to do some fishing and you didn't bring your kayak you, you can come over here to the fishing docks No swimming allowed on the fishing dock. It's very slippery. So there's a fish consumption advisory. It's probably mercury. There are a couple of group pavilions. That one up there is the covered one.
on that side of the lake is where all of the campsites are. Tent sites right on the water edge. Of course, as you can see, there's just there's so many reeds. You'd have a hard time doing any bank fishing over there. A lot of the sites, a lot of the campsites here in Ratcliffe Lake are, are dated uh, as far as the pads go. Especially in the, the tent site area, your parking is, is pretty rough. Oh, now there's a, there's a CCC construct. Look at that big old fireplace. That is cool. There's a hiking trail that goes all the way around the lake. It, it's not little red friendly. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Ratcliffe Lake actually has two group campsites that normally would cost $30. But they're both, they're both closed because of the COVID-19 situation. But since I'm not a group and I'm not camping, I can hobble out here and get a look at the lake. It rained a whole lot yesterday, so everything is really damp. Uh, I am surprised with the road noise. Of course, there's, I don't know why I'm surprised. There's a highway, just, there's a state highway right over, right over there, not too far. And you can hear those cars nonstop. More to come. The Ratcliffe Lake Recreation Area actually has a lot of trails. There's a lot of hiking trails. For those of you who are hikeable, for those of us that are not hikeable, there's, there's not a whole lot of, of trails. But there is one. It's an elevated walkway. Hold on, get you seated. It's an elevated walkway wood plank very slippery but we're going to scoot it it's not very long got to be careful because it is super slick from all the rain yesterday And it's pretty rough too. So I was setting a time lapse camera and someone on the park staff. I'm pretty sure it was a volunteer tried to tell me that Little Red was not permitted in this park. And he uh, was very adamant about it. I know the guy is just, just doing what he thinks is his job, uh, but it's not because he's not a park ranger. I educated him. All right. Now it may be, ooh, it may be that the rest of this trail would be scootable on a, on normal circumstances, but with the, all the amount of rain that this area received yesterday and the day before, uh, I'm not going to give it a try because most of everything out here is just saturated. 
I'll find something else for us to scoot. Stand by, more to come. We don't have trails to ride, but we got sidewalks. Well, that brings us to the end of our very brief visit to Ratcliffe Lake Recreation Area. Wish we could have got to stay here a little bit longer, but that's how it works when you're traveling and you have a waypoint stop set up. Unfortunately, we were not able to visit all of the park because the uh, sawmill ruins are off limits due to COVID-19, uh, not sure why that is. Anyway, they didn't consult me on that. And I would have enjoyed deploying the, the boat into this little body of water. This would be a perfect place for a bobber to, to float on. But hey, there's always the next journey. So in summary with Ratcliffe Lake Park, it's, this is a beautiful little park. I really like this park. Our sites are well spaced out. You don't feel like you're just one on top of the other. You know, the, the pad, the pads are, are all in pretty rough shape. The roads are pretty rough shape, but unless you know, you're know you on a high speed mobility scooter, it's not that noticeable. Uh, there's a lot of gunfire that goes off. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a good old boy deer camp, I think right over on the other side of the lake uh, and they've been they've been shooting guns all day there's road noise all night the the highway here that passes by or that you the highway that you come in on is a very busy highway so we hear a lot of road noise you know but that's really the only only detractor is the road noise and the gunfire but you know I'm okay with gunfire. I bet I know that during the spring and summer, this is a just probably one of the most beautiful parks in this part of the state. So definitely add it to your must visit list. Ratcliffe Lake Recreation Area, Davy Crockett National Forest. I mean, just look how beautiful that is. <laughs> All right. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd appreciate you clicking on the subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm so deeply honored. I truly appreciate it. 
that's why I do what I do. All right, with that being said, y'all come back now, you hear?